Um, I think why open access would relate particularly to the fact that I'm from Africa. Um, Africa is a fascinating place and largely in the scholarly world it's silenced by a publishing system that doesn't give it voice. So the question I started out with when I started in this field was how can we develop the publication of research by Africans, from Africans, for Africa? Yes, where I come from goes back a bit. Uh, it goes back to 1994 in Washington when I went to a conference of American University Press publishers and they had a two-day workshop on electronic publishing. 1994, you'll realize, was the first surfers of the web. There were guys from Mosaic and Gopher. There was a crowd dancing around saying, we are Adobe Acrobat, we knew. And I looked at this and I realized that I was operating in South Africa in a deeply dysfunctional publishing environment. The traditional models just don't work there. And this seemed to open the promise of something that could transcend national boundaries, open up um, the interesting stuff that comes out of Africa and make it extend continent-wide. I would hope to see Africa opening up its research because it has a lot of it. I would hope to see a projection of Africa that is not um, starving children but also the continent that gave modernism to Europe and the continent that gave jazz to America. Um, the continent that is producing some fascinating research um, of great value, I think, to the global north. And I think it's only through opening up that research, not putting it behind paywalls, that we're going to be able to create that global community that is truly lateral and not a north-south domination.